lawn maintenance on a, on a Friday the 13th. And uh, it's a beautiful day outside. Uh, I'm at my first, uh, my first appointment for the day. And, you know, the whole purpose of this today is I just want to see how many I can do. I see I got a, a decent amount on the schedule. I always get an extra three or four, you know, call me. I go and do radiant. Yeah. Hey. Hey, what's going on? All right, cool, cool. I'll go ahead and put you down. Okay. No problem, no problem. Thank you. Uh, it is currently 9.19, so I'm starting a little bit late. So uh, we're going to go ahead and start on this, this, this particular property, get it out the way. And uh, we're going we gonna to do a before and we're going to do an after. So let's go. All right, and this is what we're looking at. First property of the day. This is it. And it is this is the finished product. All right now. It's it's 10 10 02. I'm at the gas station. I forgot to get gas this morning. Yeah. All right. Uh, it's 10:22. Then got some gas and everything. I'm at the next spot, and uh, this is what it's looking like. Okay. Before and after. Okay, so it's 11:19. All right. I was supposed to pull up and do three. Uh, but I, I think I'm only gonna do two for right now, and then I might have to come back. So uh, let's let's go check it out. And here we go, one and two, right over there. Doing these two. So let's. So we end up doing that third house. Like I said, I expected to do three, and. Uh, she called me right when I was finishing the other two, and this is what we got. Everywhere. She don't 
less dog in the house, the less, I guess, I come to cut, or I was going to cut. And, uh, I don't particularly care for it, so I don't cut her grass. And it's not because she has the dogs and we had droppings, but I explained this to her and let her know that, you know, I, I don't necessarily like driving through a bunch of dog droppings, but my mower and stepping on it. She says she'll clean it, but she never does. So, I just want to know, am I wrong for not wanting to do this yard? For not wanting to cut in this yard? Because I don't really want to deal with that. So, I don't know, but if it's something, you know, that y'all do, let me know in the comments. But if it's something that you really don't care for, honest with you a lot of my customers really don't care for that they don't want you ragging somebody else's dog drives through their backyard through their front yard so let me know in the comments if you have an issue with it or you know you don't really care you know all right well it's 141 and i'm at property number six so uh and i mean if I'm gonna go until it's dark, you know, I don't go, it don't get really get dark until about nine o'clock. So I'm gonna round it up to two o'clock. Like I say, it's 141. I'm gonna round it up to two. Uh, I still got seven hours. So let's go check this one out right here. Let's go check out number six. Shout out to get them done for making that that video. Uh, this a, this a routine of mine that I do every summer. I bring uh, I bring chilled uh, fruit with me. I bring cold watermelon. I bring strawberries. I bring grapes with me to stay hydrated and keep a little burst of energy through through the through the day long care season now this like i said this is something i started implementing a couple of years ago and i noticed that when i started doing it it gave me a lot of energy so i don't drink sodas and none of that i drink water and clear fruit and i eat eat this fruit all day and i might have some cashews or something like that keep my energy up through the day so i figured so i'll go ahead throw that quick infomercial in the video. So, let's get it This is property number six of the day, the before and the after. Well, it's time to go to the next one, y'all. Let's do this. Okay, it's 2.50, okay? I'm at property number seven. Just to let everybody know out there on these properties, because it's, because it's May, uh, it's kind of humid, um, so all of the grass is growing and it's real thick and lush. So I'm double cutting everything. Uh, I try to I try to double cut sometimes, only because you know when it's that thick, sometimes the more push some of it down and go back and it'll be sticking up a little bit so I make sure around this time of year I do uh, a lot of double cuts and like I say I've I, I've done double cuts all day every every property's got a double cut so uh, let's go check out this property like I said it's property number seven and let's get it and here we go this the before and after this is the after all finished result let's take a look so that was number seven it's 345 i'm, I'm, I'm probably 
I'm gonna go ahead and take me a break. Like a little five, about 10 minute break. Give me something to drink. And uh, we gonna head to, to property number eight. So property number eight is right off the street called Schaefer in Detroit. Yeah, this is right here. All right, this is the before picture of property number eight. It's the finished product. Right on this busy street. And it's the finished product. Now we are at property number nine. So let's check it out. And it's the before. And it's my finished product. Right well, it's 7.37. Uh, the last property, I didn't even say what time it was. I, I forgot. Um, I had to take a couple breaks. It got up to 90 degrees today, so I took a couple of, couple of uh, you know, ice water breaks. Kind of needed that. So, But uh, this number 10 right here, uh, I don't know. I don't know, uh, 12, I might not get 12 today, but that's all right, I'm at 10. <laughs> you know, as a, as a solo operator, 10 is my, you know, that's kind of like the daily norm. You know, I'm trying to trying to do 10. I know I'm not always going to get 10 every single day, but my question is, how many of these jobs are you getting in a day when it comes to just cutting? We're not talking about trimming hedges we're not talking about uh chopping nothing with the chainsaw tree removal fertilization we're not talking about yard cleanups or none of that we're talking about strictly cutting how many is you going to get in the day in the day uh, even when it's hot like this and you know uh, except for chopping blades see you you in texas so it's hot all the time you like, you, you don't ever get a break but uh, out here in Michigan, it, it get it get hot in the summertime. Like people wouldn't expect that, but it get real hot because of them them lakes and all that moisture coming up off them lakes. And you know, as soon as it start hitting 80, 82, 3, 4, and five, then you get a lot of humidity, and it feels like a hundred degrees out here when you in the eighties. So. But as long as you stay hydrated, you're good, you know. Uh, let's go to this 10th and probably my last one for the day. Let's see how it look now, and then we're going to see how it look afterwards. And this is number 10. Property number 10. This is the before. that's it i hope y'all have fun riding with me for a day taking on these 10 jobs i thought i would have did a little bit more but i start kind of slowing up a little bit towards the end of the day which is is normal at the beginning of the season get back used to doing this and then it won't be nothing but i appreciate all y'all riding with me you know this this wasn't you know this wasn't a light day this was this was pretty much a normal day. This is a, this is the kind of day I want to have every day. So uh, once again, thank you. And until the next time, peace.